Welcome to Twickenham for the third of the QB internationals, but really today is a day of first because it's the first ever night international here at Twickenham. It's the first game in the new red shirt as well. It's a first start at 10 for George Ford. And of course, England are looking for their first win of this November campaign. I'm delighted to say that Jeff Parling joins us today on O2 Inside Line Live. It's great to see you. Um, let's start with the fact that it is a night game. From a player's perspective, how do you keep the nerves in check during the day? How does it affect preparations when you don't get going till quite late? I'd probably say most players will just want to get on the game as, as quickly as possible really so sometimes a night game you, you feel like you're, you're just waiting around, time's ticking away, you, you, you want to get in your routines but obviously you've got to put them all back, you might want to get your mind off things, go and do something during the morning but not too much because you don't want to tie yourself out. One guy who will need a very cool head today is of course George Ford who you know well from your days at Leicester with him. What as a senior player would you say to him? sort of five, ten minutes before kick-off. What do the England pack want from him today? What do the England team need from him? What do the England fans want to see from him? I think he's just got to be himself and, and play his own game. He, he, he's in the squad because he's such a good player. He's in the team because he's such a good player. I knew him as a youngster coming through at Leicester and you could see straight away he had a very mature head on his shoulders and just to be himself. Don't try and do something that he's not. Just play his own game and, 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 and everyone will react to him there. Yeah. There has obviously been a bit of frustration around over the last two weekends. What for you is key today for England getting it right? What have they got to channel in order for things to come together? I think that the frustrations, um, you've got to channel them in the right way. You don't want to go, go off plot. You've just got to make sure you do what you do in the week to start the game with. And there'll, you know, there'll be a few foundation moves and, 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 and plays to, to get us going, get that tempo going, and then play from there. Don't try and do something too stupid too early. Just you play the game, try and build a score, and, and hopefully we'll see a big win. You confident? Definitely. Good stuff, Jeff. Thank you very much indeed. You're going to be joined a little bit later on by Di Doherty. Uh, to get involved today, simply use the hashtag O2 InsideLine for all the behind-the-scenes access here at Twickenham. Let's hope it is third time lucky.